Rajasthan. Rajasthan. Literally, Land of Kings, or Land of Kingdoms, is India's largest state by area or 10.4% of India's total area. It is located on the western side of the country, where it comprises most of the wide and inhospitable Thar Desert and shares a border with Pakistan along the Sutlej Indus River Valley. Elsewhere it is bordered by other Indian states, Gujarat to the southwest, Madhya Pradesh to the southeast, Uttar Pradesh and Haryana to the northeast, and Punjab to the north. Its features include the ruins of the Indus Valley Civilization at Kalabunga, the Dilwara Temples, a Jain pilgrimage site at Rajasthan's only hill station, Mount Abu, in the ancient Aravali mountain range, and, in eastern Rajasthan, the Kialadio National Park near Bharatpur, a World Heritage Site known for its bird life. Rajasthan is also home to two national tiger reserves, the Sariska Tiger Reserve in Alwar and Ranthamba National Park. The state was formed on March 30, 1949 when Raja Turner, the name adopted by the British Raj for its dependencies in the region, was merged into the Dominion of India. Its capital and largest city is Jaipur, located on the state's eastern side. Etymology The first mention of the name Rajasthan appears in James Todd's 1829 publication Annals and Antiquities of Rajasthan or the Central and Western Rajput States of India, while the earliest known record of Rajaturna as a name for the region is in George Thomas's 1800 memoir Military Memories. John Kerr, in his book India, a history, stated that Rajaturna was coined by the British and even given a previous history. In 1829, John Briggs, translating Ferrisita's History of Early Islamic India, used the phrase Rajput, R A J P U T, princes rather than Indian princes. R. C. Majumdar explained that the region was long known as Gujaratra, meaning country protected or ruled by the Gujars. History the Indus Valley Civilization, one of the world's first and oldest, was in parts of what is now Rajasthan. Kalabangan, in Hanurmanga district, was a major provincial capital of the Indus Valley Civilization, now part of Pakistan. It is believed that Western Kshatra Pass, 405-35 BC, with Saka rulers of the western part of India, Saurashtra and Malwa, modern Gujarat, southern Sindh, Maharashtra, Rajasthan. They were successors to the Indo-Scythians and were contemporaneous with the Kushans who ruled the northern part of the Indian subcontinent. The Indo-Scythians invaded the area of Ajain and established the Saka era, with their calendar, marking the beginning of the long-lived Saka western satrap state. Matsya, a state of the Vedic civilization of India, is said to roughly corresponded to former state of Jaipur in Rajasthan and included the whole of Alwar with portions of Paratpur. The capital of Matsya was at Viratanagar, modern Bharat, which is said to have been named after its founder King Bharata. Traditionally the Mianas, Gujas, Bulls, Rajats, Raj Urohit, Cherons, Jats, Yadavs, Bishnoi and other tribes made a great contribution in building the state of Rajasthan. All these tribes suffered great difficulties in protecting their culture and the land. Millions of them were killed trying to protect their land. A number of Gujas had been exterminated in Binmal and Ajmer areas fighting with the invaders. Bulls once ruled Kota. Mianas were rulers of Bundi and Dundhor region. Gujas ruled many dynasties in this part of the country. In fact this region was long known as Gujaratra. Up to the 10th century almost the whole of North India, excepting Bengal, acknowledged the supremacy of Gujas with their seat of power at Kornoj. The Gujar Prashihor Empire acted as a barrier for Arab invaders from the 8th to the 11th century. The chief accomplishment of the Gujar Prashihara Empire lies in its successful resistance to the foreign invasions from the West, starting in the days of Juned. Historian Asim Majumda says that this was openly acknowledged by the Arab writers themselves. He further notes that historians of India have wondered at the slow progress of Muslim invaders in India, as compared with their rapid advance in other parts of the world. Now there seems little doubt that it was the power of the Gujara Prashihara army that effectively barred the progress of the Arabs beyond the confines of Sindh, 
their first conquest for nearly 300 years. The earlier contributions of warriors and protectors of the land Mianas, Gujas, Alurs, Jats, Bulls were ignored and lost in history due to the stories of great valor shown by certain specific clans in later years, which gained more prominence than older acts of bravery. Modern Rajasthan includes most of Rajaterna, which comprises the erstwhile 19 princely states, two chief ships and the British district of Ajme Mawara. Mawar, Jodhpur, Bikana, Marwar, Adapur, Awar and Dundhaw, Jaipur, were some of the main Rajput princely states. Paratpur and Hilpur were Jat princely states whereas Tonk was princely state under a Muslim Norb. Rajput families rose to prominence in the 6th century CE. The Rajats put up a valiant resistance to the Islamic invasions and protected this land with their warfare and chivalry for more than 500 years. They also resisted Mughal incursions into India and thus contributed to their slower than anticipated access to the Indian subcontinent. Later the Mughals, through a combination of treachery and skilled warfare, were able to get a firm grip on northern India, including Rajasthan. Mewal led other kingdoms in its resistance to outside rule. Most notably Rana Sangha fought the Battle of Kanua against Babur, the founder of the Mughal Empire. Samrat Hem Chandra Vikramaditya, the Hindu emperor, also known as Hemu in the history of India was born in the village of Mashari in Alwar district in 1501. He won 22 battles against Afghans, from Punjab to Bengal and defeated Akbar's forces twice at Agra and Delhi in 1556, before acceding to the throne of Delhi and establishing Hindu Raj in North India, albeit for a short duration, from Pure Ernakala in Delhi. He was killed in the Second Battle of Panipat. Maharana Pratap of Mewal resisted Akbar in the famous Battle of Haldigati, 1576, and later operated from hilly areas of his kingdom. Bulls were Maharana's main allies during these wars. Most of these attacks were repulsed even though the Mughal forces outnumbered Mewal Rajats in all the wars fought between them. The Haldigati War was fought between 10,000 warriors and a 100,000 strong Mughal force including many Rajats like Kachuanas from Duntor. Over the years, the Mughals began to have internal disputes which greatly distracted them at times. The Mughal Empire continued to weaken. With the decline of the Mughal Empire in the 18th century, Rajaterna came under suzerainty of the Marathas, until the Marathas were replaced by the British East India Company in early 19th century. Following their rapid defeat, the Rajput kings concluded treaties with the British in the early 19th century, accepting British suzerainty and control over their external affairs in return for internal autonomy. Rajasthan's formerly independent kingdom created a rich architectural and cultural heritage, seen even today in their numerous forts and palaces, mahals and havelis, which are enriched by features of Islamic and Jain architecture. The development of the frescoes in Rajasthan is linked with the history of the Mawaris who played a crucial role in the economic development of the region. Many wealthy families throughout Indian history have links to Mawar. These include the legendary Bla, Bajaj and Mittal families. Geography The main geographic features of Rajasthan are the Thar Desert and the Aravali Range, which runs through the state from southwest to northeast almost from one end to the other, for more than 850 kilometers, 530 miles. Mount Apu lies at the southwestern end of the range, separated from the main ranges by the West Barnas River, although a series of broken ridges continues into Haryana in the direction of Delhi where it can be seen as outcrops in the form of the Razina Hill and the ridges farther north. About three-fifths of Rajasthan lies northwest of the Aravalis, leaving two-fifths on the east and south direction. The northwestern portion of Rajasthan is generally sandy and dry. Most of this region is covered by the Thar Desert which extends into adjoining portions of Pakistan. The Aravali range does not intercept the moisture-giving southwest monsoon winds off the Arabian Sea, as it lies in a direction parallel to that of the coming monsoon winds, leaving the northwestern region in a rain shadow. The Thar Desert is thinly populated. The town of Bikana is the largest city in the desert. The northwestern thorn scrub forests lie in a band around the Thar Desert, between the desert and the Aravalis. 
this region receives less than 400 mm of rain in an average year. Temperatures can exceed 45 DEGC in the summer months and drop below freezing in the winter. The Godwar, Mawar, and Shkhawati regions lie in the thorn scrub forest zone, along with the city of Jodhpur. The Luni River and its tributaries are the major river system of Godwar and Mawar regions, draining the western slopes of the Aravalis and emptying southwest in the Great Ran of Kutch wetland in neighboring Gujarat. This river is saline in the lower reaches and remains potable only up to Balotara in Barma district. The Yaga River, which originates in Haryana, is an intermittent stream that disappears into the sands of the Thar Desert in the northern corner of the state and is seen as a remnant of the primitive Saraswati River. The Aravalli Range and the lands to the east and southeast of the range are generally more fertile and better watered. This region is home to the Karthi Abaga dry deciduous forests ecoregion, with tropical dry broadleaf forests that include teak, acacia, and other trees. The hilly Vagad region lies in southernmost Rajasthan, on the border with Gujarat. With the exception of Mount Abu, Vagad is the wettest region in Rajasthan, and the most heavily forested. North of Vagad lies the Mewar region, home to the cities of Udaipur and Chittorgarh. The Hadoti region lies to the southeast, on the border with Madhya Pradesh. North of Hadoti and Mewal lies the Dundhor region, home to the state capital of Jaipur. Mutt, the easternmost region of Rajasthan, borders Haryana and Uttar Pradesh. Eastern and southeastern Rajasthan is drained by the Banas and Chambal rivers, tributaries of the Ganges. The Aravalli range runs across the state from the southwest peak Guru Shaika, Mount Abu, which is 1,722 m in height, to Khitri in the northeast. This range divides the state into 60% in the northwest of the range and 40% in the southeast. The northwest tract is sandy and unproductive with little water but improves gradually from desert land in the far west and northwest to comparatively fertile and habitable land towards the east. The area includes the Thar Desert. The southeastern area, higher in elevation, 100 to 350 m above sea level, and more fertile, has a very diversified topography. In the south lies the hilly tract of Mewal. In the southeast, a large area within the districts of Kotna and Bundi forms a table land. To the northeast of these districts is a rugged region, bad lands, following the line of the Chambal River. Farther north the country levels out. The flat plains of the northeastern Paratpur district are part of an alluvial basin. Murta city lies in the geographical center of Rajasthan. Flora and Fauna Though a large percentage of the total area is desert, and even though there is little forest cover, Rajasthan has a rich and varied flora and fauna. The natural vegetation is classed as Northern Desert Thorn Forest, Champion 1936. These occur in small clumps scattered in a more or less open forms. Density and size of patches increase from west to east following the increase in rainfall. The Desert National Park, Jaisama, spread over an area of 3162 km2, is an excellent example of the ecosystem of the Thar Desert, and its diverse fauna. Seashells and massive fossilized tree trunks in this park record the geological history of the desert. The region is a heaven for migratory and resident birds of the desert. One can see many eagles, harriers, falcons, buzzards, kestrel and vultures. Short-toed eagles, Circaetus gallicus, tawny eagles, aquila apax, spotted eagles, aquila clanga, lager falcons, falco jugger, and kestrels are the commonest of these. The Ranthamba National Park located in Sawai Madhopa, is one of the finest tiger reserves in the country which became a part of Project Tiger in 1973. The Dosi Hill located in District Janjanu, known as Chavan Rishi's Ashram where Chai and Prash was formulated for the first time has unique and rare herbs growing. The Sariska Tiger Reserve located in Alwar District, 200 km from Delhi and 107 km from Jaipur, covers an area of approximately 800 kilometers to the area was declared a national park in 1979. Talkapa Sanctuary is a very small sanctuary in Sujanga, Churu District, 210 kilometers from Jaipur, in the Shkhawati region. 
This sanctuary is home to a large population of black buck. Desert foxes and the caracal, an apex predator also known as the desert lynx, can also be spotted, along with birds such as the partridge and sand grouse. The great Indian bustard, known locally as the godavan, and which is a state bird, has been classed as critically endangered since 2011. Wildlife Protection Rajasthan is also noted for national parks and wildlife sanctuaries. There are four national park and wildlife sanctuaries named the Kialadio National Park of Paratpur, Sariska Tiger Reserve of Alwar, Ranthamba National Park of Sawai Madhopa, and Desert National Park of Jaisalmer. Ranthamba National Park and Sariska Wildlife Sanctuary are both known worldwide for their tiger population and considered by both wilderness lovers and photographers as the best places in India to spot tigers. At one point, due to poaching and negligence, tigers became extinct at Sariska, but recently five tigers have been shifted here. Prominent among the wildlife sanctuaries are Mount Abu Sanctuary, Benzrod Garh Sanctuary, Dara Sanctuary. Jaisalman Sanctuary, Kumbaga Wildlife Sanctuary, Jawalha Sagas Sanctuary and Sita Mata Wildlife Sanctuary. Government and Politics The politics of Rajasthan is dominated mainly by the Parata Janata Party and the Indian National Congress. The current Chief Minister, serving a second term, is Vasant Hera Raj. And Administrative Divisions Rajasthan is divided into 33 districts within seven divisions. Economy Rajasthan's economy is primarily agricultural and pastoral. Wheat and barley are cultivated over large areas, as are pulses, sugarcane, and oil seeds. Cotton and tobacco are the state's cash crops. Rajasthan is among the largest producers of edible oils in India and the second largest producer of oil seeds. Rajasthan is also the biggest wool-producing state in India and the main opium producer and consumer. There are mainly two crop seasons. The water for irrigation comes from wells and tanks. The Indira Gandhi Canal irrigates northwestern Rajasthan. The main industries are mineral-based, agriculture-based, and textiles. Rajasthan is the second largest producer of polyester fiber in India. The Pali and Bilwara district produces more cloth than Bhiwandi, Maharashtra and the Bilwara is the largest city in suitings production and export and Pali is largest city in cotton and polyester in blouse pieces and rubia production and export. Several prominent chemical and engineering companies are located in the city of Kota, in southern Rajasthan. Rajasthan is preeminent in quarrying and mining in India. The Taj Mahal was built from the white marble which was mined from a town called Makrana. The state is the second largest source of cement in India. It has rich salt deposits at Sampur, copper mines at Khetri, Janjunu and zinc mines at Daraba, Zawa mines at Zawamala for zinc, Rampura Agacha, open cast, near Bilwara. Dimensional stone mining is also undertaken in Rajasthan. Jodhpur sandstone is mostly used in monuments important buildings and residential buildings. This stone is termed as Chittapachthar. Rajasthan is also a part of the Mumbai Delhi Industrial Corridor is set to benefit economically. The state gets 39% of the DMIC, with major districts of Jaipur, Alwar, Kota and Bilwara benefiting. Rajasthan is presently earning 150 million, approximately 2.5 million US dollars, per day as revenue from crude oil sector. This earning is expected to reach 250 million per day in 2013, which is an increase of 100 million or more than 66%. The Government of India has given permission to extract 300,000 barrels of crude per day from Burma region which is presently 175,000 barrels per day. Once this limit is achieved Rajasthan will become leader in crude extraction in country. Presently Bombay High leads with a production of 250,000 barrels crude per day. Once the limit of 300,000 barrels per day is reached, the overall production of the country will increase by 15%. Cairn India is doing the work of exploration and extraction of crude oil in Rajasthan.
Transport Rajasthan is connected by many national highways. Most renowned being NH8, which is India's first four to eight lane highway. Rajasthan also has an intercity surface transport system both in terms of railways and bus network. All chief cities are connected by air, rail and road. There are three main airports at Rajasthan Jaipur International Airport, Udaipur Airport, and Jodhpur Airport. These airports connect Rajasthan with the major cities of India such as Delhi and Mumbai. There are two other airports in Kotna and Jaisalmer, but are not open for commercial civilian flights yet. Jaisalmer Airport is open for civilians but only during season time, from August to March. Rajasthan is connected with the main cities of India by rail. Jaipur, Alwar, Kotna, Bikana, Ajmer, Udaipur, Abu Road and Jodhpur are the principal railway stations in Rajasthan. Kota City is the only electrified section served by three rolled Hani expresses and trains to all major cities of India. There is also an international railway, the Thar Express from Jodhpur to Karachi. However, this is not open to foreign nationals currently. Rajasthan is well connected to the main cities of the country including Delhi. Ahmedabad and Indoor by state and national highways and served by Rajasthan State Road Transport Corporation, RSRTC, and private operators. Demographics Rajasthan has a mainly Rajasthani population of approximately 68,621,012. Rajasthan's population is made up mainly of Hindus, who account for 88.8% .8 of the population. Rajasthani Muslims make up 8.5%, Sikhs 1.4% and Jains 1.2% of the population. The state of Rajasthan is also populated by scientists, who came to Rajasthan from Sindh province, now in Pakistan, during the India-Pakistan separation in 1947. Hindi is the main spoken language of the state, although Rajasthani and Punjabi are also spoken by a minority of the population. A number of tribal languages are also spoken in Rajasthan. Some other languages used in Rajasthan are Gujarati and English. Culture Rajasthan is culturally rich and has artistic and cultural traditions which reflect the ancient Indian way of life. There is rich and varied folk culture from villages which is often depicted and is symbolic of the state. Highly cultivated classical music and dance with its own distinct style is part of the cultural tradition of Rajasthan. The music is uncomplicated and songs depict day-to-day -day relationships and chores, more often focused around fetching water from wells or ponds. Rajasthani cooking was influenced by both the warlike lifestyles of its inhabitants and the availability of ingredients in this arid region. Food that could last for several days and could be eaten without heating was preferred. Scarcity of water and fresh green vegetables have all had their effect on the cooking. It is known for its snacks like Bikana Rebhuja, Murkai Bada, Payaj Kakari and Geva. Other famous dishes include Baki Rotai, Millet Bread, and Lishan Ki Chutney, Hot Garlic Paste, Rawa Kakari from Jodhpur, Awa Kamua, Milk Cake. Malpaws from Pushkar and Rashkolas from Bikana. Originating for the Malwa region of the state is the concept Malwari Bhajalia, or vegetarian restaurants, today found in many parts of India, which offer vegetarian food of the Malwari people. The Guma dance from Udaipur and Kalbaliya dance of Jaisalma have gained international recognition. Folk music is a vital part of Rajasthani culture. Kathpati, Bhopa, Chang. Teratoli, Gan, Kakshifari, Tajorji, etc. are the examples of the traditional Rajasthani culture. Folk songs are commonly ballads which relate heroic deeds and love stories. And religious or devotional songs known as bhajans and bainis, often accompanied by musical instruments like tholak, sitar, saranji etc. are also sung. Rajasthan is known for its traditional, colorful art. The block prints, Thai and Dai prints, Bagra prints, Sangana prints, and Zari embroidery are major export products from Rajasthan. Handicraft items like wooden furniture and crafts, carpets, and blue pottery are commonly found here. Rajasthan is a shopper's paradise, 
with beautiful goods at low prices. Reflecting the colorful culture, Rajasthani clothes have a lot of mirror work and embroidery. A Rajasthani traditional dress for females comprises an ankle-length skirt and a short top, also known as a linga or a chanakoli. A piece of cloth is used to cover the head, both for protection from heat and maintenance of modesty. Rajasthani dresses are usually designed in bright colors like blue, yellow and orange. The main religious festivals are Diapawoli, Holi, Gangao, Tej, Gogaji, Sri Devnarayan Jayanti, Makar Sankranti and Janmashtami, as the main religion is Hinduism. Rajasthan's desert festival is held once a year during winter. Dressed in brilliantly hued costumes, the people of the desert dance and sing ballads. Their affairs with snake charmers, puppeteers, acrobats and folk performers. Camels play a role in this festival. Spirit possession has been documented in modern Rajasthan. Some of the spirits possessing Rajasthanis are seen as good and beneficial, while others are seen as malevolent. The good spirits include murdered royalty, the underworld god Baironji, and Muslim saints. Bad spirits include perpetual debtors who die in debt, stillborn infants, deceased widows, and foreign tourists. The possessed individual is referred to as a garala, mount. Possession, even if it is by a benign spirit, is regarded as undesirable, as it entails loss of self-control and violent emotional outbursts. Education During recent years, Rajasthan has made significant progress in the area of education. The state government has been making sustained efforts to improve the education standard. In recent decades, the literacy rate of Rajasthan has increased significantly. In 1991, the state's literacy rate was only 38.55%, 54.99% male and 20.44% female. In 2001, the literacy rate increased to 60.41%, 75.70% male and 43.85% female. This was the highest leap in the percentage of literacy recorded in India, the rise in female literacy being 23%. At the census 2011, Rajasthan had a literacy rate of 67.06%, 80.51% male and 52.66% female. Although Rajasthan's literacy rate is below the national average of 74.04% and although its female literacy rate is the lowest in the country, closely followed by Bihar at 53.33%. The state has been praised for its efforts and achievements in raising male and female literacy rates. Rajasthan has nine universities and more than 250 colleges, 55,000 primary and 7,400 secondary schools. There are 41 engineering colleges with an annual enrollment of about 11,500 students. The state has 23 polytechnics and 152 industrial training institute ITIs that impart vocational training. Tourism Rajasthan attracted 14% of total foreign visitors during 2009 to 2010 which is the fourth highest among Indian states. It is fourth also in domestic tourist visitors. Endowed with natural beauty and a great history, tourism is a flourishing industry in Rajasthan. The palaces of Jaipur and Ajmer Pushkar, the lakes of Udaipur, the desert forts of Jodhpur, Tarega Fort, Star Fort, in Bundi, and Bikana and Jaisalmer rank among the most preferred destinations in India for many tourists both Indian and foreign. Tourism accounts for 8% of the state's domestic product. Many old and neglected palaces and forts have been converted into heritage hotels. Tourism has increased employment in the hospitality sector. Rajasthan is famous for its forts intricately carved temples, and decorated havelis, which were built by Rajput kings in pre-Muslim era Rajasthan. Rajasthan's Jaipur Jantar Manta, Dilwara temples, Chittaka Fort, Lake Palace, miniature paintings in Bundi, and numerous city palaces and havelis are an important part of the architectural heritage of India. Jaipur, the Pink City, is noted for the ancient houses made of a type of sandstone dominated by a pink hue. In Bundi, maximum houses are painted blue. 
at AJMER, the white marble Baradari on the Anasaga Lake is exquisite. Jain temples. Rajasthan from north to south and east to west. Dilwara temples of Mount Abu, Ranakpur temple dedicated to Lord Adinath in Pali district, Jain temples in the fort complexes of Chitta, Jaisalmer and Kumbhaga, Ladurva Jain temples, Merpa Jain temple, Sarun Mata temple Kotpati, Bansa and Kani Mata temple of Bikana are some of the best examples.